<laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> yeah, these guys are dancing, I guess. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to the stream. Uh, so we're going to be following Ghost around here. Wow. Alright, so, uh, it's a ghost there dancing around before the match. So we got 156 start time here, so just a little bit over a minute until we get going. So we're still in OP first light. This is the second round here of Ghost versus Rip. And we'll be following Ghost around U.S. Army. We'll see what Rip's able to do. They were, uh, Met with opposition pretty good there in the last round against Ghost and lost to them. So we'll see if Rip has some new strategies that they can implement on the fly uh, in order to try to get out in front of Ghost here. We'll see. I'm interested to see if Ghost decides to run down that middle lane or if they run straight to storage, which is what we usually see uh, from a lot of teams. Every team has a different tactic. So getting ready down here, 20 seconds. I'll get this queued up, guys. Gosh, you know who you're leaving on first, right? I mean, second, second, second. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Hey, Gash, take two on second in case on Rusty crashes on again. Two. 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 Uh, okay, Come okay, okay. Possibly. So there we go, sending them away. Yeah. We better win this pistol round. I ain't fucking egoing. Ah, uh, dude, we're gonna win this round. Don't worry. Uh, go long A, rush it, smoke it. Uh, nade door. Gash, make sure you uh watch mid. Careful with the op. Um, we're gonna take. Looks like go Ghost sending we'll, uh, three to we'll train. To top tons towards team main. We're gonna yeah, have to train. Rest that of the force what? heading down towards sure. the village. I'm, I'm too cross, too cross. Far B, dude. I can't fast cat you. Fuck, it's too dude. late, man. Wait, how many smokes we got? Who bought smokes? I bought smokes and nades. Okay, dude, I got armor, but I got a molly too. I got a molly, I got a molly. Oh, uh, yeah, um, maybe molly off cat in case they quick push it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know if you hear anything from mid. Hot or short. Yeah, yeah, Divide cross. Me. Getting tons that, of that, commander that, comms that, now. Where are we going? Yeah, these guys are, uh, are I think they're playing CS. They like to do this. We're going, <laughs> listen, we're going. And then we're gonna watch mid. Jesus, it's not that fucking yeah, yeah. hard. We went over this. Nice first coordinated round. push I'm, there I'm from Ghost so mid. far. Yeah, so when I was a, when I was a boy, Yo, watch this too. I used to take. Uh, yeah, judging from the amount of banter that goes on during their matches, I know that they plan these uh, these movements out in advance and practice them. And I let them just sit there. And then when it comes down to showtime, all you gotta do is execute the plan and stick to it. Did you smell him? As you were talking about banter, they're now talking about their childhood exploits. Uh, escapades. Yeah, we noticed this last game when the um, after the first round against 20R, they obviously a lot more relaxed with the uh, the the large lead they had at half time. So we're obviously feeling a little bit relaxed. I'm a bit of fun now. Remember, we're not rushing uh, castle, we're just taking storage and then pushing castle. Yes, my amigo knew this. It's like Ghost taking this in a range line with absolutely no, no pressure on him. Yep. You can hear them talking about their plan there. Um, they said they were not going to be pushing castle. So you can village. assume that they, uh, they had it planned out to, uh, if they were looking for more an, a, an aggressive approach, maybe to rush castle early on in the game, but they're saying... No, we're going to be taking a little bit slower, camping storage, and then pushing on castle. But we can see lots of rip guys coming down. Ghost off in the forest here. Definitely a big engagement about to go down here outside of storage. The rip, uh, they just jumped that fob right away just to get their guys in immediately like that. I was looking on storage. Are you guys clearing them out or what's up? So I sent a few guys up to uh, to drop some fire from did and then uh, spawn their entire team off of that one fob immediately. So they, they gave they gave Ghost pretty they're much free in that central region left and just casually stroll like they've done. Bob somewhere around there, so uh, basically you right where Rip has been messing. Sand, hunt that shit down.
Hey, Fiddy, is that your smoke north of us? Seems like or... Ghost is really blunting the uh, tip of that rip, rip uh, spear Roger. now. Flags on Seems quiet on east right now, headed north. A lot of bodies down here, both on Ghost and Ripside. Outside storage. Again, both teams using lots right, of smoke. Josh, get all your boys on storage. Are we capping it? Prowler there coming on the radio. Asking to get as many camera? bodies as they can inside storage. The get that cap. Uh, looks like if they can do that right now, they can definitely capitalize one. on the north. lack of rip two in more, the area. Uh, two more good sectors, and I'll drop a fob. And yeah, I'll west. Ghost just totally decimated that attack there. Put them down. Gosh, I need a sit rep. How's it looking on storage? Are we capping it? Yeah. How far from cap? 50%. Alright. Yeah, Gash, keep doing what you're doing. I like the you guys in the West Hills and Fiddy. You're doing great with East, Northeast. Hey, Fiddy, tell Daddy and, uh,. Rascal that there are guys on my boys up there. They're trying to pick them up. We just heard squad North comms now that the uh, cap's at 50%. They're near a storage car. Yeah, yeah, it's like they're ghost. northwest where my guys are Sorry, picking up. Are you going, Rusty? Well, and in addition, Gash relaying information to the commander channel that his squad is being engaged. So you Could can assume that he's got squad guys, you know, chatting up on squad comms and we're getting Make engaged. Sure and he's passing that information. Up to the other squad leader, so they can they can try to get a a better gauge on where Rip is focused. So very good communication there coming out of Ghost. Yeah. Have we got have we got a fob on uh, on Rip side, Doc? Fob one down, headed west now. He's stepped off for just a tad yeah. here. We're also seeing a, a small section of rip guys now down by Nilrim. Not really sure what they're intending to do, whether they're going to try and hold Fiddy, it. Can you send, but... like, uh, if they're hitting it from the east. Oh, yeah, I can see them down there. A couple guys east just to check out what's going on over there. Like, maybe oh, they to be passing rally, straight you know. through. <laughs> yep, so <laughs> ghost captures storage. Yeah, I'll copy that. We're going to get uh, north of the enemy main, try and get behind it, so if they spawn there, they don't see us. Head west, get a fob down, then we'll... Come in on defense. Tracking these uh, blitzes, tracking these guys out to the uh, north here. Three of them. You can hear a little bit of what they're talking about on commander comms. Of getting uh, fob ETA, up. Uh, Pretty much out in the corner of the map here. Off average grid sector traverse time. We're we'll finally like seeing that rip squad now from Nilrim engaging and coming sure in back end of storage. Roger that, rep they rep could rep. get in there now. Most of the ghost guys have actually left. There's just a couple, couple still on sentry. Hey, gosh, uh, Bob on Paradox, can you mark it? Yeah, it's an absolute frenzy Bob down here. A lot it. of up and down triangles there, which uh, indicate whether the player's uh, alive or dead. Way to tell, let's see if who's winning an engagement you. there. Excellent, thank you. Yeah, good push in for Rip there from the south on, uh, west. Uh, northwest Bob, Ghost have spotted them crushing in. Ghost also found Rip's uh, fob to the north. So our ticket count now for uh, Ghost is 298. I'll just switch to the other side if uh, if Doc's well, away for a minute. Uh, no, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, that's it. Two seven nine. With that beat, maybe maybe back right now. Two seven nine. All right. So two seventy nine to two ninety eight. Definitely closer. Ghost not opening up so much as last round here. Yep. Rips just got that initial advised, guy down that was down hitting uh, separate file for in storage. So there's only one ghost going now, left standing. Yeah. He 
Rip losing their fob just uh, southwest of the defense flag for them. The castle itself. Ghost looks like they've, uh, they've discovered that. They're pushing it out right now. I don't know if anybody noticed that. Yeah, surely through numbers, Rip will be neutralizing there. That fob in Charlie one minute sector ET. Can you get that neutral. Maybe just uh, just prevent Ghost push the castle for the minute. It's a good push by Rip. It's a uh, good positioning. Yeah, they're gonna need it. Ghost with those uh, that ninja squad, that three man squad up way north. They're approaching from the south of storage. Yeah, their intentions are to set up a fob there behind the enemy uh, territory that they uh, they want to stay undetected. Get that fob up. You use that as a late game out to the west hills. Uh, ploy to their advantage. I'm gonna move it once they, they take your rally. You won't have spawn support. Ooh, it seems that Rips also managed to get a squad ETA around the Ghost offensive line, north side of storage. So they they may be able to reinforce their squad that's already in storage as well. Yeah, Ghost starting to batch up now from the north side of storage. They may have moved a little too early with that Rip squad. I don't think they knew about back hey, down to the south of storage has now come in. Just uh, send half your guys on defense, half yep. your guys on offense. Goes back to that point of, you know, backing up what you're going to do. Right. The ghosts have actually managed to take down a couple of rip on storage. Still enough up to be wow. neutralizing. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next minute or so. Uh, 255 for rip. And we're at 292 for ghost. So that three-man team to the north of Castle have now turned into a, a six-man. They are now pushing into the Castle from the northwest. We've also got a couple of guys, uh, Key and Tim, pushing in from the south with Trust and Paradox. So they might have moved quick enough to uh, just cause a double neutral. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to continue about this. Uh, they're not going to be able to hold on to, uh, to Castle, though, with any guys at Ghost that are pushing uh, Yo, Castle right now. Building, west corner, Coles. Ghosts have actually swarmed in stuff. Pretty much white. Yep, yeah, that's the last of the rip down. Yep. They were able to move in and clear that out. Now Ghosts bring in a couple of their medics to uh, get the guys up, it seems. Where are you covering, Rusty? I'm um, floating now over the castle. Much, much. Just moved off so, of storage. So much for uh, the knots saying yeah, they weren't going to take there castle. There is still enemies to the southwest. Copy. Yeah, the, the, the idea was the possibly to get yeah. pressure on castle straight away, but they realized they need right, to right, get right, storage right. and hold it for the, yeah, sort of the first part of the game. Right, They've managed right. to do that. Uh, now they're getting that pressure on castle. And they will be neutralizing. I traded them. Ghost on castle, definitely. I can heal myself, I can heal myself. Yeah. Yeah, they just wiped out all of those rip guys there. How's it looking down there, Gash? It's still hot, but we got the flag. Alright, Roger that. Yeah, rip's not gonna get there in time. They're, they're gonna neutralize they Castle. It all, or what's up? Full in our favor? Negative. It's still in our favor, but they're uh, pushing hard. So if they are Roger able that. to neutralize Castle, it looks like it. Uh, castle right that now. is gonna it stop. Be... That's gonna mostly stop the fight. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no point really in attacking a flag that you can't capture because of. Um, you know, if another point is neutralized. So, if they are able to neutralize Castle, uh, that's going to be a moot point for Rip. But looking now, quite a few guys on Rip, or uh, quite a few guys from Rip on Castle, or, jeez, on Storage, rather. <laughs> right, right. It's probably going to end up being another uh, little stealing situation here with both flags neutralized. Yeah, 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 yeah. The few. But yeah, I think it's like down there. Sorry, like Shades the squad is moving so back now you, to try and defend storage, storage, but... And beat them on the cap on, yeah, yeah, they're kicking uh, some more guys back down cash south. Cash. I'm sure Ghost right now yeah, is talking on their sure. comms, letting everybody know that, hey, nobody on, right, yeah, nobody on the D-flag right now. I'll let you in. Yeah, the thing about sending people south. The issue we're having here is what we highlighted, Doc, last weekend, is that they're all inside the buildings. They've got no eyes on Ghost coming in from any direction, so... That's going to be the downfall again, as it was previously two minutes ago. Yeah. All right, ETA. On you put yourself in a barrel like that. You can't see anything out. I mean, it's going to happen. You're going to get hit from different, several different directions at once. 
And before you know it, it's gonna take a few grenades, it's gonna take almost your guys, and then you're gonna lose your cap pretty quickly. So you really gotta space yourself off the defense flex. First, hopefully, maybe you guys can stop the cap. Can't like you can't hug it and hunker down on it. Nice. Uh, see everyone on that east side now down for rip. Three boys left on the west marksman, Jeff, Will, and, and Sporkville. You might still yeah, neutralize it before Ghost can cap. Nah, no, there's only two up. We're, we now, still have 50%. marksman, we're the last the one up. Back. Oh, yep. We're taking it back, okay. Trust me. Right this is gonna be a right full now. cut for Ghost on Castle. castle. 224. 222 for Yo, Fiddy, I got Rainy digging up a fob right now. So 286 here Good for shit. Ghost. Oh, Gash, give me advantage. Do you know? Good hunting, man. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so leaving storage now. Oh, Fiddy, I'm down. Comfortably in Ghost control here. 70% on cap at Castle. You see, that's the difference that's there. That ghost then, uh, got three guys neutralizing, and they've sent and four and out about, east unless, to guys, stop that attack coming in. Right, instead of fighting in the objective, they move the, side, the fighting off the, the objective. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a yeah, really great example of me, but it's always, uh, always harping on. Seconds. Maybe 20. Yeah, we, yeah, we came up against that last night against CML in the second round. CML did a great job of not working the objective directly. And I think you're using the outside the area and just, and just stopping us moving in and, and it worked. And this is what Ghosts are doing right now. Yep. Especially when you're on the attack. You, you want to choose where you attack. And uh, by pushing off the objective like Ghosts is doing right now and kind of getting in their face in those avenues of approach to the enemy, you know the enemy is likely going to be coming at you. You, you position yourself, position yourself in a, you know, a good, solid position there and you can stop them from even being a threat to the flag in the first place. Right. So that's exactly what Ghosts is doing right now. Copy, yeah, we just uh, got next picking us up now, we'll hurry over. Roger. Yeah. There you go, there goes Castle. Still, still northeast, 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 northeast. Ghost can now get on their toes from storage ready to I push um, the train for US. Sorry, Railroad Village. What is this doogie doogie? Yeah, <laughs> you've actually got Fiddy Shades and Hunter already moving in from the, the north side of uh, railroad village. Rip again doing nothing to consolidate their last cap. We got two tickets for a 112. Yeah, way, there's a lot of. I think there's some comps here by switch, uh, shifting the yeah, guys over here zero. to get on the yeah, railroad village. We'll make, sure that's, uh, make sure that's on lock. But uh, they're going to get hit by, the, by 50 Shades and Hunter here in a second. Now, okay. Good moves there from Fitty Shades on, uh, and Hunter. They're coming into village too. What side? What side? Yeah, it's all about that um, that I'm awareness of how the game the, goes. Uh, They're going to expect those guys are coming in from that direction, so they push that Probably side of the village. What direction? Got eyes on and took them out. Yeah, absolutely. Also, too, you really want to think, especially when in the defense, the defense too. I mean, it goes both ways. You can't. And you, yeah, you know, you have to think ahead on the attack and, and on the defense too. So when you know somebody's going to start taking an is going to take an objective or neutralize it, and it's a threat, yeah. um, your defense flag or the flag after your defense flag is going to be threatened. Fucking, you need to be aware of that uh, and set people that direction that before defense, you get in that position. In Tell your boys, so like, that way you're not at the last second you know, scrambling to get people back to your new defense flag when you could have had people heading that direction anyways because you knew it was going to be capped. So that's that's what Excellent. comes out of communication between the squad Sending leaders and squad guys. leaders who are on the actual defend flag at the time to you know say yeah, hey you know, we're we're taking too much we're probably not going to hold this you know we might want to start thinking about pulling back to the next flag to right. be ready. And especially in these especially in these league matches too you know the squad leaders have a better understanding of how how the how the meta works. So by the time you know you've already got a flag being capped or almost capped you've you're Damn well sure there's going to be an enemy squad already on their way to your next flag if they're not there already. So you really got to be thinking ahead. Yep. Rip getting a good push in from the southeast of Railroad Village. Might be enough to just stop the neutralization that Ghost will be getting now. Ninety-two tickets here for Ghost. Uh, one sixty for the, the one twelve, but 
If you don't get it, it's whatever, man. Remember that, boys. Farther west side, west hill. Have Ghost got a fob up there, uh, Rusty, yeah, to support this uh, attack flag? Yes, they, so they have two fobs up, and uh, the one that they're using to attack the village is in uh, Juliet 3. That well, looks like Kilo 3, Keypad 5, looks like up there. Yeah, Rip have actually put a marker there, so they're aware it's it's, it's in that location. Ah, oh, Roger. Yeah, that's a good call from them, um, because they are pouring in resources from that location uh, in terms of these spawns coming in, but... A lot of fighting going there. on right now in the village, yeah, uh, that. train village we'll rather. Mine. So, I don't know, we'll see. Rip is holding the uh, south side of this. Skirmishing going on in the village here. Again, Rip sort of hold up just in that sort of one little building there. Right. Not really doing anything to flush, to flush the contacts out of the camp zone. Although it's doing enough for the minute. Yeah, Rip not making moves, just kind of uh, trying to feel them out, shoot them from a distance. I think that's a key difference here. Um, Ghost is very much, when they're getting shot at, they're displacing constantly and trying to move away from, from the area that they're taking fire. Uh, and that's unfortunately a difference to see. And on top of probably a better knowledge of cap, work, working the caps and and general movement on comms. Right. Hey, squad three, there's a lot Ghost of very good at just, you know, I put down putting out some fire, in. moving, coming from a different angle. 284 tickets here for Ghost. How's our tickets looking for, uh, for Rip? Uh, down to 140 here. 140, okay. 40 tickets left. So we call that match at 100. Just a reminder for those in our Twitch chat, we will be giving away a squad key at the end of our stream today. We've still got one full match coming up between IB and HSG on Kohat Skirmish. That will be coming up shortly following this match. And we will be giving away that key at the end of the day. So just as Blitzer was saying, you know, we're slowly seeing RIP move from move from building to building or well, as as close as you'd say, compound to compound in that village now, clearing them out. And it seems mostly clear, but we're seeing a couple of ghost Can you ghost send it guys. In towards, uh... Hey, probably. Moving slowly yeah, towards the village. I'm on route, Roger. So, fight going on down here at Train Village. What's going on elsewhere? We've got a skirmish going on here. Looks like just west of Castle. Yeah, yeah uh, 127 for uh, Rip. Okay. And they're actually losing that fob out to the west as well, so it's going to be 10 tickets down. Okay, so getting yep. down to the end here for Rip. Like we were hearing there from Doc, 127 tickets left. Yeah, there goes the fob down to 114 for Rip. On our tail. Okay, man. Prowler, can you put down a ammo and Ghost having a pretty much a free run into Railroad Village as well from the northeast. Uh, yeah, once I get this fob, it's real quick. I need to top off the minute. They down now. Oh, look at all those kills I could have got. Damn it. Brother, if you guys want to go out, I can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your boys are requesting some bandages for their medical uh, purposes, and uh, you might want to drop a flash fob with some ammo for them. <laughs> 270 now here. Four ghosts. Got to be getting down close for rip. Last 10 now. Last 10 tickets. Hey, um, my squad's gonna head in from the west side of village, uh, Fiddy. Yeah. How's it looking down there? It's a lot of contact. Did they take our fob? They took our fob up there? 
Just the yes. tail of the tape, unfortunately, across this game with um, Ghost yeah, yeah, I'll try being the best line. killers and just generally moving back. Direct west side, like uh, west side. So it's the two uh, ingredients for, for victory. Absolutely. Yeah, they are very conservative. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of medic work from the ghost side. Um, definitely. They, they definitely don't give up e Roger, easily, and they let those medics do their job and, and get as quickly as they can on those bodies and get them back up and in the fight. Copy. Don't bunch up, don't bunch up. Four tickets. Ghost pressing through... Uh, Real, 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 really, really bad right now. Yep. Finish off the rest of them. Yep, picking off the stragglers at this point. Two tickets. Fob down. One. Good, good, good. Um, with ten seconds, ten seconds to neutralize. Game. Roger that. How's it looking at defense? Oh, okay. So there we have it. Anyway. Rip is eliminated oh, from the bracket hey, as Ghost takes them on OP because, first yeah, light. I got it. I got it. I got it. Cheers to both clans. Right. Those were uh, yeah, those were watch. very intense battles. Excellent I love shit. watching these battles on OP first light. A lot of very close quarter action yeah, going on. So we're going to take a short break here and get the other match queued up. That is IB versus HSG Elite. We're going to get those guys queued up and in Kohat, which is the map they will be playing on. We will be back shortly and ready to go for that match. Thanks for sticking with us.